Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics, and we're going to show you what happened with that brand new 55 gallon tank that I was given. If you're new to my channel, welcome. So here's the 55 as it started. Then after I tore down the 29, it kind of looked like this. And here's how it was left after the 29 was done and it got all the fish it was going to get out of that tank. Now it's time to go tear down another 55 gallon tank and use that. And I'll show you why. And this is my 55 gallon, I call it my old Odell tank. It's only three foot wide and it's 18 inches deep and 24 inches high. So it's a very odd shape for 55, but it's an older tank. I'm not moving it. What I want to do, this is my very first tank that I set up after I set up my granddaughter's guppy tank, which was what started it all. And when I found out how long it was going to take for a tank to cycle, and I think it was a little 10 gallon tank, I went to my local fish store and bought a used 55 gallon tank and started setting it up without fish. I actually had a rubber fish in it floating around with a suction cup while I was setting it up and learning about all this. So this tank has gone through the ringer. So I'm going to move all these fish into that cycle 55 I just got. This is the 55 gallon that all the fish are going into. Let's take a closer look at the pothos. This is the pothos, some underneath the light is just getting too much light. But these have grown up my shelves, up along here. It's crazy, it's crazy. I will probably cut it down into different cuttings and put it throughout my fish room and different um, hang on the back filters. I have some aquaponics going. I'll just spread the wall. But this is amazing. Let's take a look at it. So this started as a cutting. I don't know if you can see that. Crazy. And it goes up here. I don't know if I can keep get the camera up here. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> up along the ceiling. So I'm gonna preserve as much as I can. Because I really like the filtering. Now let's take a look at the roots. Do you see those roots back there? That's all pathos roots. So it'll be interesting to see what's in there. Maybe that's where all my fish are. Let's go take a look. are roots. These are roots. These are roots that were attached to my wall. These are massive. I am just so stoked. I feel saddened that I have to take it down, but like, wow. Plants really like fish. stuck to the walls. I know. I still got some stuck to the walls. I try to pull this out without too much damage. So these are the roots. Wow. Wow. And I put them in one of these little containers to start. It was just a little sprig. And now look at this. Wow. I'm trying to figure, I think I'm going to cut the roots. So I've cut all the roots off. All right. For the time being, I'm going to put this in that 55 gallon. 
Now this is crazy. All these stems I got. Mega, mega, mega. I'm going to start putting them all over my fish room. Wow. Hopefully they won't all die. We're going to go through shock though, that's for sure. So look at that, Anubia snap. I think this is Anubia snap petite. This is one of my first plants I ever got from Dustin's fish tanks. Wow. This is my first piece of driftwood I got. So this definitely has a special... <laughs> That's the string that I tied it on with still. Oh, that is awesome. Well, it doesn't need string now. It's pretty much melted into the... To the... So this gorgeous Bobitis I got at my Bucks County Aquarium auction. Really like this. Really, really like this. This is going to go into the 55 gallon. As you can see, I'm not aquascaping. I'm just getting plants in here so they don't, I don't lose. Looks like I got two Anubias Nano Narrow leaves. Again, almost every plant in this tank came from Dustin's fish tank. Josh picked them out for me himself when I told him I was a newbie. I needed some help. I don't want to lose that beneficial bacteria, but I want to rinse it out first. This I'm going to put in the new 55 gallon. I can use all the beneficial bacteria right now, adding all these fish. So I want to document the fish that I'm catching just so I know what's going into the new tank. So right now, it's hard to see with this filthy water. Calm down, buddy. I do already have one angel. One, two, three, four. Four red-eyed tetras and a quarry cat and a molly. Let's get them in the tank. Three, four, five red eyes, four rummy nose, and a neon. Okay, one pleca. Look at this guy. Does that look like a bristle nose? Come on, buddy. So I have a Burmese loach, panda quarry, one cardinal tetra, two more red-eyed tetras, cherry barb, I have one hellstream loach, one nearite snail, but I did find a fish that unaccounted for. I just don't know which fish it is. Pretty big skeleton, so not sure. Two nearite snails. Okay, one coolie loach, and one rummy nose. And that's it. And here is, here we go. I filled up gravel and stockings to build a, my first mountain. Down here I have three Kubadai loaches, otherwise known as the Burmese loach. I have three of them I got at my Bucks County Aquarium Society. And I'm adding them. They're in quarantine now. See if I can find them and I'm going to add those to the 55 because there was the other Burmese loach from the old Odell tank. So these red-eyed tetras, they school pretty nice. There's 11 of them. 
And then I have 11 Rummy Nose Tetras. They're not schooling, of course, now that I pulled out the camera. I would like a whole tank of Rummy Nose. This little Molly, man, he's a... Not my type. The Black Molly Glow. Bully. And this angelfish is the one that got beat up that's been in a med medical tank for a while. Yeah. Actually, Cory doesn't belong in here. She belongs in the other tank. So funny how, how does that happen? There's a rummy nose. I think they're just gorgeous. Beautiful mix of color. And when they all, and we, I have one cardinal survivor that schools with the rummy nose. And there's one neon and one cardinal. All the tetras kind of stay together. Those tetras stay together. We have Kubadai loaches in here. I think, uh, one of their names is called Burmese loach. Very beautiful. I don't see them coming out there in that tube down there. There's four of them. Oh, there's one. Come on back here, buddy. Main basket of roots for the pathos. And that's all I did is cut off all those roots and trim all back the plants. Well, thanks for sticking with me while I show you my new 55 gallon tank, how it came to be. It tore down three separate tanks. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this.